Asset Depreciation Codes Sum of Year Digits versus Remaining Value over Remaining Life Depreciation is the method of allocating the cost of a tangible asset over its useful life. Businesses depreciate long-term assets for both tax and accounting purposes. The former affects the balance sheet of a business or entity, and the latter affects the net income that they report. CISPRO allows different depreciation types or methods to be applied to assets, such as straight line, reduced balance, fixed EUL, statistical EUL, declining balance with switch, declining balance without switch, sum of your digits, and remaining value over remaining life. Depreciation codes can be applied to all depreciation books, like the book value, the tax value, and all alternate valuations. Sum of your digits depreciation. An accelerated method for calculating depreciation, this method takes the asset's expected life and adds together the digits for each year to get the sum of year digit. Each digit is then divided by the sum to determine the percentage by which the asset should be depreciated each year, starting with the highest number in year 1. The percentage for each year should add up to 100%. The formula is as follows. The depreciable base which is the cost minus the salvage value, multiplied by the remaining useful life over the sum of the year's digits. In this example, Lenny purchases a delivery truck for $45,000, which he will sell for $5,000 at the end of four years. By adding the years together, Lenny's sum of years digit is 10. This is the number he will divide by when calculating his depreciation. Using the formula, we can see that the depreciable base multiplied by the remaining useful life for year 1 divided by the sum of the year's digits will give us a depreciation value of $16,000. We will then use the same equation, substituting the remaining useful life figure, to get year 2's depreciation value of $12,000. This will continue until the depreciation value is equal to the depreciable base at the end of the asset's useful life. Remaining value over remaining life depreciation. This depreciation method bases the depreciation of an asset on the asset's estimated useful life in periods rather than years. The depreciation is calculated with a fixed depreciation value, except changes to the asset's estimated useful life, or EUL, are taken into account when calculating the depreciation. Monthly depreciation is calculated as the remaining depreciable amount, purchase price minus the previous year's depreciation, divided by the asset's remaining life at the beginning of the year, calculated in periods. This amount is then multiplied by 12 to get the full year's depreciation. For Lenny's company, he recently bought a production machine that produces the erasers that are attached at the ends of pencils. The machine cost his company $120,000 and is expected to run over 60 periods, or 5 years. So we will use the remaining value over remaining life depreciation method to calculate how much the machine will depreciate each year. We will take the cost, minus the depreciation, which for the first set of periods is $0, divided by the number of periods, or E well. This will give us our monthly depreciation of $2,000. Multiplied by 12 gives us our yearly depreciation of $24,000. Next, we will calculate the next year's depreciation by taking our cost minus our previous year's depreciation of $24,000 divided by the remaining periods to get our monthly depreciation of $2,000. The asset will depreciate by the same amount every year. At the end of the asset's useful life, the depreciation value will equal the asset's original cost. To recap, the sum of years digits depreciation is an accelerated form of depreciation that uses the sum of the years of the asset's useful life to calculate the percentage and value of the asset's depreciation. Sum of years digits depreciation's first year value is the highest, with it steadily decreasing over the asset's life. The sum of the depreciation values should equal the asset's depreciable base at the end of the asset's useful life. Remaining value over remaining life depreciation calculates an asset's depreciation in periods and has a steady depreciation amount. This form of depreciation also takes into account the asset's remaining useful life when calculating the depreciation value.